so when you visit any botanical garden around the country, like right here at the Ulbrich Botanical Gardens in Madison, Wisconsin, you notice how beautiful everything looks. Well, I have a secret for you. A lot of that is because of all the pruning that they do. Now, I don't know about you, but a lot of people I know are actually sort of afraid to prune. I call it prunophobia. They think that they're actually going to damage or hurt their plants, and they're probably not. In fact, the general rule of thumb is only take away a third at a time, and you're probably going to be just fine. Now, there are a number of reasons why you should prune. First of all, to increase the overall health and look of the plant. Now, the first thing you want to do when you get in there and you look around, you're going to find some branches that are probably crossing, but you don't want that because as those branches cross, they're going to rub the bark off and expose it to potential pests and diseases. So go ahead and find where those branches meet the trunk and cut out at least one of them. The next thing you want to look for are dead or dying branches. You certainly don't need to promote that or leave that around. Now one of the obvious reasons to prune is to control the size and shape of the shrubs within your landscape so that they're all in balance. But here's something I want you to keep in mind because whenever you make a cut, you're going to stimulate new growth. So be mindful of that whenever you decide on which one you're going to cut. So now that we know why we should prune and what we should cut back, the question is, when do we do that? Well, for general maintenance, such as taking out that dead or diseased wood or those crossing branches, do that any time of year because that's perfectly fine. But for the serious pruning, you know, when we're trying to control the overall shape and size of our plant or stimulate new growth, the best time to do that is in the winter months when the plants are dormant. The next best time is early spring to early summer. But we want to try to avoid making those serious cuts as we move into fall because as you've already learned, when we make those cuts, we stimulate new growth. And we don't want that tender new growth to be exposed to cold temperatures because that can open up the tree bark to pests and diseases, which we're trying to avoid. Well, I hope I've given you enough information to go out there and try pruning yourself. You're probably not going to hurt a thing. You're going to be surprised at how well your plants respond, and you're going to learn a whole lot in the process.